Good morning, one and all. Myself, Dr. Rupa Shri. I'm a consultant in obstetrics and gynecology, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to discuss a very small topic that are changes of breast in case of pregnancy. What are the changes what we will see in pregnancy and how the MCQs will be covered in this topic? I am saying that only the changes in pregnancy, not in lactation or not in diseases. Okay, let us see. Actually, we describe breast as the first most important point is we describe breast as modified sweat gland and modified sebaceous gland. In last 5 to 10 years, most of time what they ask, describe breast or breast is a modified sweat gland or sebaceous gland or both. So, it is both a sweat gland and a sebaceous gland and breast contain ducts, alveoli and fibro fatty connective tissue. During or after puberty, there is proliferation of only fibro fatty connective tissue okay and the breast changes in primary gravida can be seen from early stages of pregnancy. And last point is, if patient is multigravida or previously lactated, breast changes cannot be clearly seen. Okay. So, see, these are almost three to four important points in this. What I have said is, see, the structure of the breast means, see, it consists of the fibro fatty connective tissue. Okay. First point. Then the ducts and the alveoli. So, these are the important points. See, the lobules. Okay, see the inside one, alveoli. Okay, this is a fibro fatty connective tissue. See, we discuss, it is a question. It is a modified sweat gland and sebaceous gland. And during puberty or uh, after puberty, there will be proliferation of only the fibro fatty connective tissue. And in primary gravida only, we can see the breast changes very clearly. If the patient is previously lactated, that much clear evidence cannot be seen okay so they will be asking in multi gravida also can we see the breast changes very clearly as primary gravida no because the ducules alveoli everything will be enlarged and they will not return to normal as in as in non pregnant state okay so every point here is an mcq for you all okay and next slide is okay we'll see the size okay in pregnancy Because of presence of hormones like estrogen and progesterone, there is hypertrophy and proliferation of ducts 
and alveoli. See, in puberty, there is proliferation of only the fibrofatty connective tissue. But in pregnancy, what happens? See the ducts. These are the ducts. Okay, these are the ducts that will get proliferated. Okay, and the alveoli part will get proliferated. Next. Okay. Now, in pregnancy, there is increased vascularity to the breast. Yes, we all know that in pregnancy, every organ will receive extra amount of blood. Okay. So, there is increased vascularity to the breast. This can be seen as bluish lines under the skin. So, the vascularity, if there is any increased vascularity, those can be seen as a visible bluish veins under the surface of the skin. And now, that is an axillary tail. Actually, some amount of breast tissue is under the pectoralis major muscle. Okay. In pregnancy, this tissue increases or enlarges into pectoralis major muscle. So, there is pain of breast in the pregnancy. Pain that is colicky Colicky pain of breast. Breast in pregnancy. Okay. So, see this is the pectoralis major muscle. This is the breast tissue. This tissue will be going under the pectoralis major muscle. In pregnancy, the amount of tissue enlarges and it is included into the pectoralis major. Therefore, because of that, patient will be complaining of the colicky pain-like sensations. Discomfort will be there in pregnancy. So, why they will be asking, why there is pain of breast in the pregnancy? For everything, there will be a reason. If you remember the reason well, then you can answer all the questions. Okay. So, because of this, patient will complain of discomfort of breast. And next in pregnancy, well, there will be increased vascularity of the breast? Yes, it will be increased vascularity. Till puberty, there is only fibrofatty connective tissue proliferation. But in case of pregnancy, what happens? The hormones like estrogen, progesterone will cause proliferation and hypertrophy of the ducts and the alveoli. Okay? Next. And what are the lines? All the three questions can be, three statements here can be asked as an MCQ for you all. Next. Nipple. Nipple and areoli. In pregnancy, the nipple, areola become prominent, become prominent and erect. In pregnancy, they become prominent and erect. See, in case of non-pregnant state, see the nipple very small, very small. In case of pregnancy, as the pregnancy is confirmed or the woman is pregnant, see the enlargement of the nipple as well as the areole. And see, in case of lactating, see, this is the nipple and the areole become more and more enlarged. Okay? See. The montagmary, the sebaceous glands, are invisible in non-pregnant state. Okay? But in pregnancy, okay, they will be enlarged. 
okay and more in number the sec they have the secretions these are known as montgomery tubercles see this is the nipple and this black part is completely the areole and see this one see these are all the montgomery tubercles okay and they secrete the substances which keep the nipple and areola moist and healthy okay so the secretions from the this montgomery tubercles keep the nipple moist healthy and they will be increased in number in case of pregnancy okay and the last point in this the questions in this may be see what are these montgomery tubercles these are nothing but the enlarged sebaceous glands which are not visible in case of non pregnant state they will be asking regarding it they will be asking for two marks what is montgomery tubercles they will be asking in viva what is the function of this montgomery tubercles they will be asking like this okay next and the last is sometimes what happens is fourth point the hypopigmented hypopigmented or incompletely pigmented area around the alveoli is known as secondary alveoli okay see now this is the areola this hypopigmented area is there no around the this is a nipple areola and the hypopigmented area is a secondary areola what is secondary areola means the area around the areola which is less pigmented okay that may be the question and last is we'll see the secretions see in pregnancy from 12th week only we can observe some secretions from the breast initially from 12th week only okay and this is known as colostrum but this is very sticky very sticky at 12th week at 16th week colostrum is little fluid like and yellow colored okay and any secretions milk like secretions from the breast of a woman who has never lactated before can be a sign of pregnancy okay so so can uh, some people will be thinking that the secretions from the breast will be only after delivery no the growth the development the functioning of breast will be started from the pregnancy itself so these are important lines see 
From 12th week only, we can observe cholesterol, but it is very sticky. From 16th week, it is little yellowish in color. And if there is any secretion of the breast in a woman who has never lactated before, can be a sign of pregnancy. Okay. So, I think these are the changes of the breast only during pregnancy. Why? What are the reasons for the changes? How it will manifest? So, this will be a very short video so that you can spend more time and you can answer all the questions easily. Let us meet with another topic. I thank you very much. Thank you.